everyone, this is Amy from RaisingArrows.net and this is the follow-up video to the video I did previously on why you might want to homeschool four days a week. This is the how to homeschool four days a week. So first of all, what you need to do is choose a day. It's as simple as that. Figure out what day a week you think would be the best for you to take off from homeschool. Perhaps you need to choose the day when you have extracurricular activities and you're out of the house a lot. Or perhaps you do like we do and you want to have one day where you clean and make a three-day weekend out of it. We do ours on Friday, but you could easily do it on Monday. You can also be flexible and from week to week choose a different day, perhaps depending on dad's schedule, and that's fine too. However, be aware that if you do different days, you may find yourself a little undisciplined about when you homeschool and getting all of that schooling in. So you might keep that in mind. Make sure that whatever day you choose, it's a good day for you to back away from the um, academics and do something different. So next thing you need to do is plan accordingly. If you're using a curriculum that has a five day a week plan, you're going to have to tweak that. There are some curricula out there that do already have a four day a week plan and those are great for implementing with a four day a week schedule that you create no matter what day it is. It doesn't matter if you take off Friday or Monday or Tuesday or any of the days of the week. You can use those four day scheduled planners any way you want to. However, if you have a five day a week planner, you're going to have to tweak and move things around. You might even have to take some thing, things out. However, I believe that it's worth it to have that down day in there and not have to do everything that's on the schedule. You will get enough in, I promise you. So the next thing you need to do is explain it to your children. Explain to them what you're going to be doing. You need their buy-in too. You need them to understand why you're doing the four-day-a-week schedule and what that means for them. And then the last thing I want to tell you about doing a four-day-a-week four week schedule is that you need to not squander that fifth day. Don't just see that as a day where it's a free-for-all and a willy-nilly, do-whatever-you-want-to-do kind of day. It really does need to be a day where you still have some sort of structure to the day and you aren't just squandering it. For us, that means cleaning. That's the day that we clean. And that works for us. However, maybe that's the day that you go to museums. Maybe it's the day that you have extracurricular activities. Whatever it is, don't just let it be a free-for-all day. Typically, we have the weekend to do that. And if you don't have the weekend, then by all means, let that fifth day be your day of rest, if you will. But I would encourage you to go ahead and have some semblance of order on that fifth day. You may still be sneaking in some education in there, and that's great, but you can have it be a little more fun, a little more relaxed. Perhaps you do some fun little worksheets you found on Pinterest or something like that, but do have a little bit of structure to that day, something that you definitely do on that day so that your children don't feel like they're getting up and they don't really have any rhyme or reason to their day or any purpose to their day. We want to still be purposeful in our daily activities. So those are the things I want you to keep in mind. Choose your day wisely, plan accordingly, explain what you're doing to your children, and then use your day off wisely. So why don't you give it a try? See what you think of having a four day a week schedule. Remember to check out the corresponding post. It's in the description on RaisingArrows.net.